What is going on guys? This is Lost Eddie here and today we're checking out a game called Tomica? Tomica? Might be pronouncing that incorrectly, but it grabbed my attention because of its art style and the fact that there is a playable character that is a dog. What a shocker here. No, but the game realistically here just looks absolutely stunning uh, and it's in its art style, which I really appreciate. Uh, this game is available on itch.io if you want to play it for yourself. Before I forget to say this, I will put a link to it down in the description box below. But here we are playing as Tomika the dog, and we're going to check it out. I don't know a whole lot here. Let's just read what's going on. Something just happened to Mika. Every time you frightening, see something frightening, your scariness level rises. There are levels of fear reaching. The last one that unlocks nightmare mode. Here your agility and quick reactions are most valuable. But like I was saying, the game just looked very good looking. So I was like, okay, obviously I want to try this out and see if it's... Jesus Christ. If it was any good to recommend to you guys. Um, I also apologize because my PC is running at a million degrees. So it's... it's playing the fan very loud if you hear that if you don't then uh, I've just lost my mind Tomika just found food eating food will decrease your fear level and help Tomika stay in normal mode when your gaming skills when put to the test by solving complex puzzles and leading to calmer gameplay if you miss or choose not to use safe checkpoints you will eventually earn okay yeah remember up ahead you will have to make choices that will affect your gameplay eat apple and continue your journey nom 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 on that apple uh, although we are still a bit of a scaredy dog, unfortunately. Uh, also, I should say this game is in its demo form, and I will imagine it will change. So if you play the game and it looks a little bit different than this, uh, try to keep that in mind. Uh, I Oh! No no cry, Tomika. Everything's okay. I do try to showcase indie games on this channel. If you're into that kind of stuff, uh, consider subscribing for more content like that. But I, I'm not here to plug my channel. I'm here to play the game. So let's uh, carry on with our Wayward Son. I still love the fact it, 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 it's not perfect but I, I love the art style very very good if you are the creator of this game watching this absolutely love the art style and wow look at the look at the details on this I mean like there's depth going on and stuff like this I, I like it for what it's worth it reminds me a little bit of if you're familiar with little nightmares there's like that that uh, certain like tone, that atmosphere, and I'm not sure if that was what they were going for, but that's what they achieved, which I really like. And if you haven't tried Little Nightmares, it's another fantastic game, by the way. Um, so let's start to figure this out. So we've already reached a bit of an impasse. Can we actually jump that? Yes, we can. Tomika can dr jump a mile high, but that's okay. Chinese food? Yes, please. Not sure if that's checkpoints, as they were kind of referring to, or if this is just like get around town. Alright, we have found ourselves in a hole. Yeti, good job. No! I don't want to be on the ground. I want to be a flyboy. Dougie with wings. Alright, I can still jump a million miles high, so that's fine. I feel like this poor dog's legs would be very broken if he was jumping this high, but... It is a game. Love the forklift in the back. Looks very good. Love the other forklift in the back. Also looks very good. Didn't notice that there were two until just now. Uh, garbage disposal station. No, thank you. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I can't. Do I have to stand on one of these pressure plates? Not quite. I can push you into the corner. Be interesting to see. Ah, okay, so that's one. I, I understand what's going on here. Also, I apologize that my mouse has been in the middle of the screen. I'll drag that off. If it's been annoying you and you've said it in the comment section, I am very sorry. All right, can we, we cannot jump that high. So we can get the pressure plate here and then there's some sort of a lever there. Also W works and not just the arrow keys, which is uh, uh, always a nice addition to see. Come on, Tomika, use that snoot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The walking pattern is a little bit off of the ground in that section, but it looks like it kind of works itself out. E to use. Or either interact, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Oh, what a good boy or girl. I don't know. Um, I'm going to assume girl. Do a real good sit. Boop that snoot. Okay. I still can't make that 
jump, which is a bit of a problem. Although, I might just be able to make that jump with this guy. So if I keep pushing you, do you... Okay, you close the grate, which is what I need. Closing the grate is great. What a concept. And then I should... Oh, that's clever. That box is there, so you can't box yourself in, literally. Please don't drop on me. Oh, don't like that. But that sh should... And I'm not going to push the box in the hole, because I feel like that's how I get in a situation I can't get out of. So I'm going to just scoot my boot on over. Um, also, guys, random question of the day. If you guys are up to this point and you would like to share, I always love to hear. Uh, if you have a dog, what kind of dog do you have? And also, that door is stuck open. So that's going to be a problem. I do believe. Unless I can just... Yes. That is a problem. I may have gotten myself stuck. We will find out in a moment as Tamika glitches herself into the box. So now, I do believe I can... Box on the boxes works. Can I perhaps lower that somehow? Yes, I can. Okay. Interesting choice. I would have thought that I didn't want to do that, but I suppose that it allowed me to make some jumps and do some things, so I guess it makes sense. I mean, it, it's intuitive enough that I know that they were supposed to be pressure plates, so I suppose that uh, that is a good thing. Snoot to boop. Snoot to boop. Booping with the snoot. All right, come on over. I also love the bandana. Recently, also with my, my actual dog, uh, we've been giving him bandanas, and he is such a cutie with a bandana. If you've never put a bandana on your dog, I'm not quite sure what breed Tamika is supposed to be. Uh, curious about that, but on a lab like I have, very, very cute. Any big breed, uh, also small breeds. Uh, my girlfriend has a Havanese, and they. I was never a little dog kind of person, and I know I've probably said this in another episode. <gasps> oh, Good night, Tomika. Um, never that kind of guy of small breeds, but I uh, have fallen in love with her, and I think that might actually be the end of the demo. Looks like we're getting the uh, credits here. So, so yeah, guys, that that was Tomika. You know, just a short little demo. Interested to see where they go with it. I will try to keep up with it and see where they go next because it seems like it's gonna be a fun game. Anyways, guys, as always, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti, and I hope to catch you guys in the next episode on the channel. I will see you then.